Hello and welcome to this week's MTV, where I want to share a quick word about Dream. You know, tonight Fred was taking um, photographs at a premiere event for the movie The Pistol. It was for a fundraiser and um, of course myself and the boys um, were able to join Fred there in order to see the movie. You know, it's a great movie about the story of Pete Maravich, who um, was one of the great basketball, greatest basketball players of all times. As a matter of fact, the youngest basketball player to ever be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. What I didn't anticipate about the movie was um, really the clear, concise message about dreaming. You see, Pete in the movie um, is really portrayed as a young eighth grader who had a dream, a dream to be a great basketball player. You know, his father, who was so wonderful at cultivating this dream for Pete Maravich, told him, you know, a dream is simply a big challenge that you set for yourself, and then you go about working to achieve it. Well, there are three things that I want to um, share with you about Dream um, from what I gathered from the movie tonight. The first was discipline. Pete, from the time he was age five to the time he was in eighth grade um, for this particular uh, movie that we watched, had already put in 10,000 hours of drills and practice that his father had taught him. You know, 10,000 hours is considered to be the mark needed for someone to be an expert in whatever field, whether it be in music or sports. It's a very important um, number that um, people achieve or, or look to achieve in um, reaching that in their career. So he had discipline and working on his craft. The second thing that I really picked up from watching the movie was confidence. He had confidence that because he had been disciplined that he could indeed outperform pretty much any player, no matter whether they were taller or bigger than him, he had the confidence that he could indeed play against them effectively and successfully. And the third thing is that he had imagination. He saw himself in the future as a great basketball player and he began doing what was needed in the present in order for that to become a reality. You know, it made me think of Mark Batterson's book, The Circle Maker. And I wanted to read something to you um, that I thought would be an encouragement about this need for imagination that we have. Mark says that neuroimaging has shown that as we age, the center of cognitive gravity tends to shift from the imaginative right side of the brain to the logical left side of the brain. And this neurological tendency has grave spiritual danger. Because see, at some point, most of us stop living as out of imagination and start living out of memory. Instead of creating the future, we start repeating the past. Instead of living by faith, we live by logic. Faith and imagination are very important because um, as we imagine a bigger uh, future for ourselves, our faith is important in allowing God to come in and be a part of making that happen. Mark Madison also says that prayer and imagination are directly proportional. The more you pray, the bigger your imagination becomes because the Holy Spirit supersizes it with God sized dreams. You know, we tend to lose faith in God when he gave us a big dream and we start settling for a small dream that we can accomplish without him. And I want to encourage you, has God given you a big dream and yet somewhere along the way you move from that imaginative right side of the brain to the logical left side of the brain and you started looking at what was logical in that you could accomplish it? Well, ultimately, God wants our dreams to be so big that we can only accomplish it with his help. Why? Because when we can only accomplish it with his help, then he gets the glory for that. What is your big dream? You know, in the movie, The Pistol Pete, he stood in front of his class and he shared 
what his big dream was, to be a professional basketball player, to be the first basketball player to make a million dollars. And it, he, he was saying that he wanted to be well known. It was his dream. What's your dream? Have you stated it? My big dream is to stand on a stage in front of thousands of people and to speak about the Word of God as an encouragement um, where um, people are concerned. That's my big dream. Now, I might not understand exactly how God will accomplish all of that, but what I know is that I cannot do it on my own. So Joshua 1.9, God encouraged Joshua by telling him time and time again, be strong and courageous. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed before, because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That is goes for you as well. As you begin to imagine and have faith that God is able to help you achieve that big dream that He has given you, I pray that you will do um, the planning and the working as though it depended on you, but pray like it depends on God. Be encouraged this week and dream bigger dreams.